Welcome superstar. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to attract positive energy and good luck into your life and business. First, I'm going to get into why positive energy even matters and how is it even related to luck. Then I'm going to talk about how to cultivate and create positive energy within yourself. Finally, how to be a channel for positive energy and what happens, maybe even I should say scientifically, when you put positive energy out into the world. So you may have heard me say this, I say it all the time, that energy precedes outcomes. All of my clients know this. I've got it even in my office. I've got it sitting up behind my desk so that I remember that the energy from which I create anything determines the energy of the thing I create. Now, I didn't make that up. That comes from my mentor, Nani Leah Diamond, who I talk about all the time. She always says the energy from which we create guides and determines the energy of what we create. And that is essentially at the foundation of this conversation about positive energy and luck. Essentially, when we cultivate positive energy within ourselves and we put that energy out into the world, we resonate with other things that are positive, like luck and abundance and generosity and love and compassion. So when we are cultivating that within ourselves, we tend to attract more of that to us in our lives. So a good question is, how do we do that? How do we cultivate that energy? Well, I'm going to share with you a model that I came up with about four years ago that I think captures the totality of this concept. I call it my ALMA model. And ALMA in Spanish means soul. And what it stands for here is alignment, leadership, magnetization, amplification. Let me walk you through what it looks like. So at the very center of this model is you. And I, of course, use a star as the symbol for you. Now at the center of the star is what I refer to as identity. Now there are five points on the star that refer to five other pieces. The, the top point of the star is purpose. And actually it's really easy to remember because it's like your north star, right? Pointing north, pointing up. The two legs of the star represent the points of the star that ground into the earth, the parts of you that ground into mother nature, to earth, to this very present time right here, right now. So on this side is life force. And on this side are your values. And that's because these are the two most grounding influences in your life. Your life force energy is literally your biology your physiology. Your life force energy is sleep, sleeping, eating, is being in the world, exercising, moving your body, being here on this earth, right? So that's how you take care of yourself. And over here, your values are what are the principles by which you live? What governs the actions that you take in your life? And over here is the past. And I believe that these are your beliefs about what's possible and any past wounds or healing that you've done. And over here, aiming towards the future is vision. So this is going towards the past. That's going to the future. That's going up. And these two forces are grounding us into the ground. Now, this might seem like a weird thing to talk about when it comes to positive energy and luck, but the way it relates is that the more this is in alignment, the more you are aligned with, the more that you're doing things every day that support your personality, your sense of self that are aligned with your purpose, your passion, that which is greater than you, that make you feel healthy and strong and empowered, that have you be in alignment with what you believe in the, about life and about what matters in the world, and that align with that you've healed these parts of yourself from your childhood, these pains, these wounds that you've suffered, and that you have a vision for your life heading forward, heading forward. The more these things are in alignment, the more positive emotions you have running through your system. Now, before I tell you what that means and why that's important, I do want to share that I would love for you to like this video, subscribe to my channel, 
Maybe even post a comment below if this resonates with you. So why this matters is that when we cultivate these things and we have positive emotion moving through us, let me, I'm going to put like a little circle to represent emotion in orange, right? From this yellow, right? Because we have a star that's sending out light and heat, right? The emotions are actually turning into energy. And what we know from actual science is that we actually radiate, us humans, we radiate an, a field, an electromagnetic energetic field out from our heart. We can measure this with equipment. This is not, this is not woo woo. This is not spiritual. This, it is kind of spiritual and it's also scientific. We, we radiate out energy from our body and what we're radiating is actually we're projecting our emotions into the world. Now we may not realize it consciously and other people may not realize it consciously, but they can feel it and we can measure it. And we know that what we measure, what we're sending out is our emotional state. And if you want to learn more about this, I invite you to check out the heart math Institute. They've done a lot of research on this. So we send this energy, this emotion out through our energy and then we embody it, right? So embody, we embody this energy, meaning that we bring it to life. The way we show up, the way we move, the way we speak, the way we sound, the way we dress, these are all embodiments of this energy. Notice that when you're really depressed, you probably would dress differently than when you're really excited, right? You show up differently in the world and you actually express yourself differently in the world, which is the final piece of this model. So we have this first level of the model, which is the A and it stands for alignment, right? And this is that star in the center. I'm going to do it in blue because you know, the center of a flame is hot and it's blue. Then you've got this next layer of the star, which is L is for leadership, right? And that's this energy coming out that starts with the emotion, makes its way into energy, turns into an embodiment, and then finally becomes an expression. That's our leadership in the world. And this is where it gets really fun. That leadership touches people. That leadership gets out into the world. It goes through YouTube, through these videos. It goes through our blog posts. It goes through our, the words we say, the speeches we give, right? It moves out into the world and it touches things. And the things that it touches and resonates with bring something back to us, which is manifestation. The things that come back to us that get manifested and come back, we, we attract them. So they come back in this reverse order, right? They come back first, they attract something and the thing that we're attracting, we need to then allow it to come to us. So let's say we send all these things out into the world. It touches prospects. And then those prospects in our business, they start to come to us. Well, we, we need to allow them in. We have to have a way for these prospects to come to us. We want to allow them and invite them towards us. And as they get closer and closer to us, then we accept them. We accept the gifts that are coming from this expression that we've put out into the world. And finally, we appreciate. Let me put that in here. I'm going to sneak the appreciate. We appreciate the gift. So what, and this is really interesting because this works on all levels so that whatever we attract, whether it's quote unquote good or quote unquote bad, when we're doing this model effectively, we want to allow all of it. You know, we, we may want to hold a vision for something different, but we don't want to make bad or wrong that which we've attracted or allowed. We want to accept and appreciate everything, even the things that don't look so perfect or so beautiful. And then finally, the last piece of this model is when we've done this, when we get to this level of appreciation, appreciation elevates our emotions and we are able to amplify our signal even bigger. So we amplify from there. And then this thing starts to radiate even more, even more, even more, even more. That's that last A of the model. And the amplification is where things get multiplied. So the more that we can focus on this piece here, the more good luck and wealth and good fortune, positive energy we're going to put out into the world. The more good luck, good fortune and positive energy we put out into the world, the more beautiful things come back and the more we're able to amplify our abundance. I hope that you enjoyed my model. This is, I think the first time I've ever shared it on here on YouTube, not sure, 
but I love it and I hope it's helpful for you to know that you need to focus on these internal pieces in order to attract more good luck, more fortune, more wealth, more abundance. If you want to learn more about how to attract those things into your business, let's connect. You can find me at superstaractivator.com slash go.